Welcome back. In this operation, we're going to be doing the same thing we did in our previous session, but we're going to be doing it to the inside profile. So, for example, I'm going to go over here and click on my sketch. I'm going to be getting rid of everything all the way down about an inch. So, I'm going to leave my little circle in the middle and I'm going to create a core mill all around the part one inch down. So, this way it gets rid of, gets rid of a lot of material for me. So, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to click on Alt-T to get rid of my tool pass and click on the top view so I can see it a little bit better. And let's do the same thing. So I'm going to go to tool path, 2D high speed, make sure C plane is selected. Let's select first, we're going to select the outer uh, box or you can select the inner box. Let's select the inner one and then go ahead and select OK and then select the inner circle. And then click on the check mark. Now make sure Como is selected. Click on Tool. And then change the tool to a 1 inch flat end mill. 1. And then click OK. Select the 1 inch flat end mill. Click on Cut Parameters. Let's keep everything the same. But let's leave a little bit of stock over here. So let's leave about 0 0.01 inches of stock left on the walls. And go to Lincoln Parameters and make sure it's going down half an, uh, one inch. Okay, click on OK. See your toolpath being created. Let's go ahead and click on Isometric. Let's view the toolpath this time. And let's go ahead and make sure our operations are working correctly. So let's verify our tool and click on Play. I'm going to fast forward it. There you go, it's machining one layer at a time. And there you go, it created now my boss uh, circle that I have in the middle. So now I can machine my pockets over here and my other pocket all on this side. And then also my holes that are in the center of the, my slots that are in the center of the circle. So click on the check mark and we are done with our second core milling operation.